Whether amateur or professional, receiving the table tennis serve is the most difficult technique. Hello, welcome back to Ping Sunday, the best place to learn table tennis. I'm Amrat Tick. Today, let's learn the hardest skill in table tennis, receive the table tennis serve. Very difficult to read the spin on the serve. Many amateur players have confirmed with me that returning the serve correctly is their main weakness. How to improve? Serve return is one of the hardest aspects of table tennis. Many players have trouble returning high-quality serves and lack confidence in their decision-making and execution. Today, Coach M. Ratik will translate the training session of Coach Chase Yossi. She shares her training method for you. 01 Learn to judge the spin on the serve. Practice judging spin by the flight and bounce of the ball, not by watching the opponent's ball contact. The opponent may have a deceptive contact point in motion or an illegal disguised serve, thus being able to evaluate the ball's flight and judge the bounce are significantly more essential than seeing the ball contact. There are no spin serve, under spin serve, and top spin serve. Here is my tips. A serve that floats through the air and stops sharply after the second bounce is likely a strong underspin serve. While a serve that cuts through the air more rapidly is likely topspin serve. Topspin serve will kick forward, kick effect. No spin serves bounce softly on the second bounce. Zero to lower your stance. To read the serve better on the spin, you need to lower your stance. You will observe the spin and the bounce of the serve easier. 0-3. Use the right footwork. To deal with the short serve or the long serve, you need to step in or to step out of the table. On the serve return, use your feet. Zero four. Let the ball drop if you can't see the spin. If you're having problems estimating the opponent's spin, Take the ball a little later to see what it does on the second bounce. Give yourself margin and don't aim for perfection. This is especially critical if you're unfamiliar with your opponent's serves. It's also crucial for drop shots, which are hard to control if the ball is too flat. Learn to offer your serve returns some cushion while keeping them low to challenge the opponent. 05 Practice many type of serve as possible. Try as many serves as possible. This includes players who aren't as good as you yet serve well. Playing practice games against different players and working on serve return errors might improve your serve return. There are too many types of serve, no spin serve, float serve, top spin serve, side spin serve, fast serve, pendulum serve, reverse pendulum serve, etc. So you need to practice and learn to return all of these types of table tennis serves. That's it. See you in the next video. Uh, 呃，也有些时候也是接不好，但是我们平时怎么训练呢？我给大家分享一下。接发球其实主要首先是判断，判断旋转，判断落点，然后再去出手。长短啊都要需要去判断，就可以去去拿多球去训练，让对方就在那
这样对自己的判断和都是一个很好的提升啊。其实比赛中，一个是侧旋，一个是勾手，你看，就是一起跳点，然后一手指和手腕去使劲然后就能摆出短。千万不要就跟着那个旋转去跑，这样就会很容易飞。手上一定要给力。呃，勾手也是一样。来，勾手的话，就是要往直着走一点；侧旋的话，就是往右边稍微接着一点，但是一定要合上力，起跳点就接。如果往这边的话，它就会飞，就会冒。对，如果勾手的话，就要往这边半抬去接一点。这么一一接的话，它肯定是往那边飞。对，就往这边接的话，旋转是能卸得住的。Read more about table tennis on my blog, pingsunday.com. Get free ebook and coaching advices. See you in the next video.